What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel again here. I wanted to come on and do a little review about my third gen Drobo that I've got here. I have been using Drobos for quite a while. I started back with the first gen uh, when it first came out. Pretty quickly after that, upgraded to the second. And then about six months ago, uh, finally upgraded to the third gen here. My second gen finally kind of uh, stopped working for me, and so I had to upgrade to this guy, uh, which still wasn't bad. This guy was about 350 bucks when I got it. Like I said, it's a third gen, so it's USB 3.0. Got that plugged right in the back of the Mac here. What I do is I store all of my media files and my iTunes library on this guy, which right now is about six terabytes total. So you can see here, I'll open her up. I've got uh, four drives in it. The top three are four terabyte drives, and the bottom one is a three terabyte drive. Not even halfway full yet on it. Everything's running great in there, so. I really, really like the Drobo. It's got great that, that great uh, redundancy in there. If a drive were to die on it, you can literally pop out a new one, or pop it out, pop in a new one. I've only had to do it a couple times with a couple Seagate drives, and uh, I really like doing it with Seagate drives because they have an advanced exchange where they'll overnight me a new drive. So I'm really only you know uh, worried about that data loss for about a day. What happens is you pop one of those drives out, you pop the new one back in, it automatically starts rebuilding everything. Losing one drive doesn't lose a thick single thing on the, the whole system. So you can really get in there and still keep working with it and everything and it automatically starts backing everything up for you while you're doing that. Um, I'm gonna hop on and show you what the Drobo dashboard software looks like here. We'll let this load up here. It's pretty cool. Um, you can really get in and work with the Drobo here, check out some settings. Um, I'll show you here when this loads up and recognizes her, what that kind of looks like. So there's my Drobo. So if we come over here, like you can come over to capacity, see exactly how much it's taken up in there. Uh, so you can kind of narrow down. So I've still got, you know, 9.94 terabytes of total storage, which is more than enough for me. Still got plenty left in there. Uh, you can check your status, check the drives out individually, make sure that they're all working properly. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cool overall. You can see all the different drives and everything that I've got in there. So definitely recommend it. It has definitely saved my butt more than a couple times when I've had uh, drives go out. As, like I said, it only happened a couple, but in those times, it would have been a nightmare. I uh, keep all of my weddings and everything that I filmed archived on here. That way, they're all nice and safe. I also back that up to crash plan as well. So that is the Drobo Gen 3. Uh, like I said, USB 3 out of the back of it into the computer. Power, nice and simple. Uh, not too much to it. I don't need the big old you know, 5N ones that they have and stuff like that. This one works perfect for me. So if you guys have any questions at all, definitely leave them in the comments here, and I will talk to you guys later.